Okay, I'm going to do number four at the bottom of this sheet right here. So let's take a look at the equation. We have three sulfur plus three oxygen yields three SO2. Now, the first thing I'm going to ask you before we analyze this, is this uh, like a heat of formation equation? It sort of is, except we would have to divide these all by three, right, so you make one mole of product, but do you see that it's a compound being made from its free elements, right? So to solve for delta H, all we want to find is what is the heat of reaction for this thing. So everyone go to table P. Table P. Look up SO2 for me. Do you see that it's negative 296? Now take a look. Heat of reaction is equal to heat of formation of products minus heat of formation of reactants. Products minus reactants. So what is SO2 equal to? Negative 296.6 kilojoules per mole, right? And I have three moles of it, right? Moles are going to cancel out. Now, what's the heat of formation of sulfur? Free elements are zero, right? Zero. So all we have to do is multiply this by three, and what do we get is the heat of reaction for this thing. Negative 889. Negative 889 point anything? Yeah. Point anything. Yeah. Kilojoules. Okay. So there's heat of reaction. Okay? Pretty easy, right? Yeah. Now let's do Gibbs because we want to find delta G, right? Delta G, delta G is the same thing. Gibbs free, um, Gibbs free energy of reaction is equal to the Gibbs free energy of formation of products minus the Gibbs free energy of reactants. It's the same exact thing, except instead of going down to delta H, you're going to go down the delta G column, okay? So everyone look up SO2 right now. Wait, so delta G is free energy? Yeah, delta G is free energy. Okay, that's good that we're doing that, okay? Here's enthalpy, here's Gibbs free energy. What's the Gibbs free energy of SO2? Negative 300. Negative, I'm sorry, negative 300 kilojoules per mole, right? How many moles do I have? I have three moles. Moles are going to cancel out. And then, again, there's no Gibbs free energy of formation of elements. It's zero. Everyone good? So here we get delta G of reaction is equal to negative 900 kilojoules. Is that good? How's everyone feeling? Okay, then for the last part, we're going to use delta G equals delta H minus temperature times delta S because table P does not have entropy values in it, right? So what are we going to plug in for delta H? Negative 889.8 kilojoules minus the temperature... What's the temperature in this thing? Look, right up here, 298 Kelvin. 298 times X, let's make delta S X. <coughs> and what was delta G? Negative 900, right? So now, how are we gonna get this alone? Added. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, I'm sorry, that wasn't getting multiplied. So we gotta add 889.8. Let's add 889.8. Can you add that for me, you guys? Everyone's calculator's out. Oh. 
La la la. So if you're watching this tonight. Negative 10.2. What is it? Negative 10.2. Negative 10.2. Thank you. Negative 10.2. And remember, these are kilojoules. Kilojoules. So it's still going to just be kilojoules. And now we got to divide it by negative 298, right? Thank you, Brooke. What? Point Tell me what you get. Negative 0.034228. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. Positive what? 0 0.0342. 0 0.0342 kilojoules per Kelvin. Okay, you can stop that.